If you're looking for a juicy pork recipe with a tangy twist, then you are not going to want to miss this video. Hey friends, it's Kelly and welcome back to Mama Needs a Gold. Thank you so much for joining me today and if you're new here, welcome, welcome. So friends, today I am making a pork pickle flavored pork chop. Yep, that's what I said. Pork ranch pickled flavored pork chop. I am going to marinate my pork in some pickle juice and before we cook it, we're going to season it with some ranch dressing and friends, it is absolutely <coughs> delicious. So I can't wait to uh, get started and share this recipe with you. So let's turn the camera around and I'll show you all the ingredients. All right, my friends, so I have myself three uh, boneless pork chops here. I have some of my fresh dill that's from my garden. You don't have to obviously <laughs> grow it. You can just buy it. I have some pickle juice left from my kosher pickles that I finished up. Some black pepper and ranch seasoning. And friends, that's all we're going to be using. Let's go ahead and get this marinated. All right, my friends, I just have myself a little bowl here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and marinate this now. Please keep in mind, I am marinating this now and then... Um, I'm going to let it sit overnight and then come back tomorrow and cook this. So we're going to go ahead, put our pork chops in here and I am going to do my best to try to fit all three in this container. Hopefully it will work. <laughs> I don't have a lot of pickle juice because dad and I was making some pickles using that juice. Oh, that fit perfectly can you see that all righty now I'm going to go ahead and pour the rest of this juice over it and this has a little bit of some garlic and stuff in it and then I have a little bit of dill here I'm just going to sprinkle on top looks like that all right now I'm going to let this marinade for a day you can definitely even let it go longer, two days, and then we're gonna go ahead and take it out after it marinades. I probably will, I don't even think I need to turn this over. I may turn it over. It's pretty much covered, so I'll check on it and see if I really need to. So that is it. We're gonna go ahead and put this in the fridge, and then I will see you all tomorrow. All right, my friends, so it is a couple days later, um, and it's almost 6 o'clock. I've been working, <laughs> editing videos, and I am exhausted. So I ended up not cooking my pork chops the next day. I decided I was having pork chops the following day, which is today. So mine has been marinating in the refrigerator for two whole days now. So I'm going to take them out put them on the tray with the um it's just um hubby and my oldest son eating dinner tonight and i'm going to put them on the tray and um season them up real quick and then there's a oh my gosh there is a mosquito in my house and they eat me alive i got him <laughs> i'll be right back all right, my friends, I told you it's never a dull moment in this house. I bet you did not expect to see that on today's video. <laughs> I'm telling you, I don't know what it is, but the mosquitoes love me. Nobody in the house gets bit but me for some strange reason. And let me tell you, I walk outside and they're all over me and then I bring them in the house. It drives me insane. But anyway, let's stop talking about mosquitoes. I'm going to go ahead and let's take out our pork. I have a couple pieces out already that I seasoned. I'm going to throw these on the tray and then hubby is going to put these on the grill and cook them because this mama does not touch the grill. I don't know why. I use a gas stove but for some strange reason um, I will not cook on the grill. I, I don't know what it is but it gives me I don't know. I just can't. I don't like to cook on the grill. It makes me nervous. But anyway, I'm going to have him grill these. And I think I'm just going to have um, some string beans and mashed potatoes for dinner tonight. So we'll go ahead and do a taste test when um, we're done. So, so let's turn the camera around and add the last of our seasonings. And we'll go ahead and get these cooked up. All right, my friends. Here we go. Mmm, smells so good. Lay those right down there. 
obviously <laughs> I'm mentioning it, but I think you all probably know this. Do not reuse that pickle juice. <laughs> it is no more good. Piece of garlic. Ooh, look at that. The garlic's on there. All right, my friends. So now I'm just going to go ahead and take a little bit of pepper. Just sprinkle that right on there. I don't really measure. I just kind of sprinkle in the same way with my ranch seasoning. I don't measure it out. I just sprinkle it. I love, you can see I'm a little heavy handed with it because I love it. And then we're going to go ahead and flip it over because you got to do the other side just like that. And just a little bit of pepper on that side as well. Mm, it smells so good. Whoa, just knocked the pepper over. And then we're going to go some more ranch. Alrighty, um, we're going to go ahead and take this out to hubby. He's out there getting the grill um, heated up. And then we'll head, go ahead and throw them on the grill. Did you get bit? in and get it washed up and then we'll be back and see what they look like. Ooh, they look delicious. I can smell, can smell it. Yum. Alright, All right, my friends, here they are. These here are my pickle ones. So I'm going to let them cool down. I'm waiting for my string beans. They're almost done and then we'll go ahead and make a plate up and do a quick taste test. All right, my friends, here you go. It's nice and juicy. I'll give you some close-up pictures after I cut it. It is very, very juicy. Mmm, so moist. Mmm. Oh my goodness, friends, it is so delicious. Absolutely delicious. Mmm. Get all that pickle flavor, nice and juicy and moist. So friends, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget, hit that little subscribe button as it does greatly help me out. Also, please check me out over on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, and TikTok as I am active on all those social media sites as well. So friends, thanks so much. I'll catch up with you next time. Bye.